Hey guys, welcome back to CEBAS tutorial channel and this is our problem number 4 for conjugate beam method under chapter 6 ng strength of materials. But before we start to solve this problem, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So dito, ang given is cantilever beam na meron triangular load and isang point load sa point A na 1,000 pounds. So, Meron tayong mga reactions sa B. So, this is our BV, PH, although ang ating BH is equivalent to 0. Tapos, meron tayong moment at P. So, mas maganda, kagaya sa moment air theorem, mag-moment tayo sa point P. Para at least, wala na tayong kailangan nga pang isolve ng mga reaction. And at the same time, kasi pag nag-moment tayo sa A, maraming loadings ang iikot dyan. So, marami tayong drawing, di ba, or figure or shapes na makikreate papunta sa M over EI diagram. So, dito. Ayan. Ang 1,000 pounds, iikot sa taas, no? So, nasa positive side siya ng beam. Ah, yes. Sige, ilagay na rin natin to Yung ating, ano, beam. Ayan. Kung free to, papunta sa conjugate beam, magiging fix. Then, ito naman, fix magiging free. Then, ang 1,000 pounds, iikot sa taas. Then, siya point load. Kaya, first degree lamang yung kanyang uh, loadings dito. No? Tapos, ito naman, ah, yes, uh, 1,000 pounds multiplied by 12 feet is 12,000 pounds feet. Ayan. So, 12,000, and this is pounds feet. Then, over AI. Tapos, ito naman is first degree to second degree sa shear. Then, third degree papunta sa moment. Ayan. So, ilan yan? Kunin mo natin yung resultant load. That is one half of 360. Then, multiplied by 12 feet. Then, yung kanyang moment arm. That is one third of 12 feet. So, 8640. So, this is negative na. Kasi nasa baba siya. So, negative 8640 pounds feet. Then, over EI. Then, convert natin into loadings. Dapat, kaya nga na sinabi namin sa introduction, dapat laging papalayo sa ating beam. Ayan. Papalayo. Ayan siya. So, this is our A prime and this is our B prime. Then, convert na natin yung ating loadings into uh, resultant load. So, this is 1 half of 12,000. Then, multiplied by 12 feet. So, this is 72,000. So, this is 72,000 pounds feet squared. Then, over EI. So, ano siya? Uh, pounds feet. Then, multiply natin ng 12 feet. Kaya magiging pounds feet squared. Then, ito naman is... Uh, okay. So, di ba ito ay third degree na? So, that is 1 over N plus 1. Then, multiplied by base na 12. Then, multiplied by height na 8640. So, 25,920. So, 25, 25, 9, 20 over EI. So, same lang naman sila ng unit. Uh, pounds, uh, feet squared. Then, ito is one-third of 12 feet. Ito naman is 1 over... 3 plus 2. And 1 over 3 plus 2 multiplied by base na 12. And so 1 fifth na. So 1 fifth of 12 feet. Again, so pinapakuha is slope and deflection at point A. So ibig sabihin dito sa ating conjugate beam, pwede naman tayo ano, mag-shear 
sa right side. Kasi dito, ano to eh, fix to, diba? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayo rito ano, uh, reaction. So, this is A prime uh, V. And, syempre, meron tayong moment dyan. Kasi, fix na siya eh. So, this is uh, moment at A prime. So, mag-show na lang tayo sa, ano, sa right side. So, number one for slope. Okay. Ang slope natin sa real beam is equivalent to the shear at conjugate beam. So, mag tayo at point A prime, then sa right side. Okay. Alam naman natin ang rules natin sa shear and moment at specific point. Pag sa right side, lahat ng upward negative, lahat ng downward is positive. So, this is positive. Uh, 25,920 then minus 72,000 then multiplied by 1 over EI so this is negative 4680 pounds feet squared over EI so, ang slope natin at point A is equivalent to negative 4680 pounds. Ito kasi yung ating ano, yung ating flexural rigidity is equivalent to 10 times 10 raised to 6. And this is pounds per inch squared. Then multiplied by 45 inch raised to 4. Cancel to. May matitirang inch squared. So, this is 10 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 45. So, this is 4.5 times 10 raised to 9. And this is pounds inch squared. So, dapat makonvert natin to into inch squared. Okay? Remember, ang ating 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So, this is ano, uh, times 12 squared. Okay, uh, pounds inch squared. Then over EI, na 4.5 times 10 raised to 9 pounds inch squared. So, cancel silang lahat. Radius ang makukuha natin. So, this is negative 4680 times 12 squared over 4.5 times 10 raised to 9. So, ang sagot is negative uh, 0 0.0015 regions. So, convert natin into angle times 180 over pi. So, negative 0 0.084 degrees. Ayan. Check natin sa momentary theorem. Ayan. 0 0.015 regions or, oops, wait lang. Parang ano, sobra siya, no? Ayan. I mean, sobra ng 0 dito. Check natin kung saan tayo nagkamali. 46080, no? 406080, tama naman. And, uh, 12 squared. Ito ba? 10 times... Ah! Ito pala, sorry. Nag-10 times 10 na pala tayo rito. Ayan. So, this is ano? 450 times 10 raised to 6 lang pala. Ayan. So, this is 4.5 times... Ah, sorry. 450 times 10 raised to 6 pounds inch squared. So, 450 times 10 raised to 6. Ito na lang palitan natin. Ayan. So, 0 0.015 regions. Tapos, convert natin dito. Ayan. 0.845 degrees. Number 2. 
para sa, sa deflection ng uh, yes this is negative no so since negative yan clockwise yung ating rotation sa slope para naman sa deflection ang ating uh, deflection sa real beam is equivalent to the moment at conjugate beam method okay so dito mag moment tayo at a prime no yan then right side na lang din ulit So, kapag right side, ang clockwise is negative. Kapag counterclockwise is positive. So, counterclockwise ang 72,000. So, therefore, positive. 72,000. Then, multiplied by... Ilan ito? Okay. Multiplied by 12 minus 1 third of 12. And then, negative 25,920. Multiplied by 12 minus 1 fifth. Of 12. Then, multiplied by 1 over EI. So, ito na yung ating moment at A, which is equivalent to our deflection at A. So, 72,000 multiplied by 12 minus 1 third of 12 minus 25,920 multiplied by 12 minus 1 fifth of 12. So, 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Positive. 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. And this is pounds feet cube. This is pounds feet squared. Then, this is feet. Kaya, feet cube na ang lalabas na unit. Then, over EI. So, this is 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Then, multiplied by 12 cube. Para maging um, pounds inch cube then over EI na 400 times 10 raised to 6 8 pounds inch squared cancel cancel matitira is inches so 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8 ah yes, gamitin na natin yung kanina Ito. and so this is raised to 3 and this is 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Pero positive yung ating nakuhang deflection dito. So, 1.256. Positive. 1.256 inches. So, since positive yan, upward yung ating deflection. Check natin. 1.256. Tapos, dito sa moment area theorem, ang naging basis natin kung paano yung ating ano, uh, elastic curve and yung deflection through the M over A diagram. Kasi, mas malaki yung effect ng moment natin sa 1,000 pounds kesa sa moment ng ating uh, triangular load. And, uh, 12,000 ito, ito, 8,640. Kaya, mas magagawin yung rotation ng ating 1,000 pounds. So, dito naman, sa conjugate beam method, na-prove natin na positive talaga yung ating deflection gamit yung ating mga solution dito sa method na to. So, ngayon, paano yan? Ito yung ating um, x-axis and and then positive daw yung ating deflection at A so, yan. so positive siya then i-prove naman natin yung ating slope at A double clockwise siya so paano ba yun? ayan diba? so clockwise nga talaga siya kasi ganito yung ating uh, tangent at A ayan. then ito yung ating horizontal axis then, this is our theta A. Clockwise ka talaga. So, so di ba? At least, dito kasi sa conjugate beam method, nagtutugma yung ating mga solution dun sa ating elastic curve. Pero sa moment air theorem, dapat uh, practice na talaga ninyo or mas na-imagine na ninyo kung paano talaga magbe-behave yung ating elastic curve. So, ako, para sa akin, mas maganda yung ganito na meron talagang basis yung ating elastic curve Diba? Pagdating sa mga solution. Dapat nagkutugma talaga sila. Ayan. Okay? So, this is our problem number 4 for conjugate beam method under chapter 6 ng strength of material. So, if you like, love, and learn from this video tutorial, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.